Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for inflammation and tissue repair as an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the basics, including basic immune response and healing. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one, which of the following lines of defense for the immune system is or are known as specific or adaptive? And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is C, the third line of defense. The third line of defense is the only line of defense that contains specific or adaptive immunity cells, such as B and T memory cells. Question number two, which of the following is false about inflammation? And this one is C, inflammation prevents microorganisms from entering or penetrating edematous tissue. Microorganisms can more easily penetrate edematous tissue, which is one of the disadvantages to inflammation. Question number three, damaged or dead blank cells can usually not be fully restored. And the answer here is A, cardiac. Liver, skin, and stomach cells are regenerative and can be fully restored or replaced following damage. Damaged or dead cardiac cells are replaced by scarred tissue, which have no function as cardiac cells. Question number four, blank is new connective tissue that contains blood vessels and fibroblasts that form the outer layer of a wound during the healing process. The answer here is A, granulation tissue. Granulated tissue forms during the healing process and is the basis for new tissue that will replace what was lost in the wound. Question number five, primary intention occurs during the healing of small wounds, such as paper cuts or sutured surgical incisions. And the answer here is A, true. Primary intention, also known as primary closure, is the quickest and most effective wound closure method compared to secondary and tertiary intention. Wounds that heal by primary intention are usually short in depth, have even and well approximated edges, and have very little tissue loss or contamination. Question number six, which of the following wound exudates is best described as a thick whitish yellow exudate, which is a likely indicator of infection? And the answer here is C, purulent. Purulent exudate typically contains plasma, dead inflammatory cells, and bacteria. Purulent exudate is a likely indicator of infection. Question number seven, which of the following are the most abundant white blood cell type responsible for quick response to inflammation and the ability to kill bacteria by phagocytosis? The answer here is B, neutrophils. Neutrophils make up about 65% of the circulating white blood cells. They are responsible for the initial response to inflammation, killing bacteria by phagocytosis. Neutrophils are a non-specific defense for the immune system. And for the last question of this quiz, number eight, exudate caused by inflammation is always a bad sign because it impairs all wound healing. The answer here is B, false. In excess, exudate may impair healing in chronic wounds. However, exudate is believed to provide antibacterial properties to acute wounds. Therefore, exudate is not always bad and does not impair all wound healing. And that's it for our inflammation and tissue repair quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.